G'day viewers, welcome to the Week in Awesome. Something I may even do regularly, you know, somewhat of an antidote to totally fucked up Fridays, you know, talk about the fact there are actually awesome things in this world. Well, I'm doing it today because there were some particular things from this week that I wanted to share that were just absolutely awesome. Starting with, you want awesome? Look at this lemon! Just look at it! Look at the size of this lemon grown on the lemon tree in my yard! Where is your god now? The lemon is your god! The mightiest lemon in creation! It is an awesome lemon! I will just add, for comparison, I have a fucking massive head. This is about the size of my face. Okay, and I have a huge head. Some people occasionally observe, no, I don't have small arms, I have a fucking huge head. I'll get video proof one day. I wear my hat, my stylish hat that people so admire. I will be with a person with a normal sized head and they will put the hat on. The hat that sits very tightly on my head here will just go kadoosh down to about here on a normal person's head. So this is a fucking awesomely huge lemon. As much as I enjoy talking about how awesome I am, I think I'll go on to the most awesome news photos of the week. These came from the Chengdu Zoo in China, which I probably pronounced wrong, but let's move on. Uh, the zoo decided to have a drill for what they would do if a tiger escaped. And so their rather convincing display involved a guy in a tiger suit. You're like, uh... Furry type suit that looked like the Disney version of Tigger from the Winnie the Pooh story. The pictures are just brilliant, like with Tigger running away from a crowd. Tigger cunningly hiding behind a bush. And possibly the all-time greatest photo of Tigger being held at gunpoint. These guys have the most awesome job ever. I love these photos and it rounds off with... For whatever reason, they carted off Tigger on a stretcher, past the actual tigers, as if to warn them, Tigers, fuck with us and this is what will happen to you. To which I think the tigers are looking out the windows of their enclosures going, the fuck is up with you humans? Still, most awesome safety drill ever. And finally, an awesome story just of absolute human awesomeosity. This absolutely floors me, the people involved in this story. It starts off in a very bad place. Uh, the crippled nuclear reactor in Fukushima, probably pronounced wrong again, moving on, in Japan. Now, I was in awe enough of the firefighters who went in there when it was critical. Uh, and it's basically like, okay guys, we've got to try something. And these firefighters, you know, no, this is a very close to certain death sentence, whether they die next week or in a couple years from cancers. Going in when the reactor is at meltdown point, that's like being saying, hey, who wants to die today? And they just stepped up and went, guess we've got a job to do. Fucking awesome. I don't mind admitting, I would just be like, oh, I think I've earned some days. I had leave. Um, I don't... I'm going home. And these guys just, like a boss, just went in there. That was amazing enough. These were the firefighters, active firefighters. These guys, you know, they live on danger. They thrive on danger. Awesome work, but not that surprising. Now, what's happened since? A group of, like, more than 200 pensioners have stepped forward and said, we need to help out on this. Now, this is started uh, by some engineers, but... The group encompasses a very broad range of people, including teachers and entertainers. And they've basically said, you know, if someone's going in for the cleanup, uh, even if the danger level is reduced, and we don't know how reduced it is yet, um, they will probably die of cancers in, you know, 10, 20 years. These guys are all over 60, 70 saying, well, we're going to be dead in that time anyway. So why don't we do it? No one was looking at these guys. No one would have looked at these guys and said, you go in there. They were sitting at home and going, these young people are going to die protecting all of us. That's bullshit. We're not that far off anyway. Let's rock on up. They've come out of retirement to take on a deathly dangerous job. These guys are fucking awesome. I, I find it 
almost hard to believe that so many completely awesome people believe. I mean, really, f for all the perceived flaws in Japan, the way Japan has handled itself, not the actual power company that's responsible for building a plant that couldn't actually survive local conditions, but the Japanese population, with the largely not panicking, and the not panic buying, and the not behaving like fuckwits and looting, and the firefighters going in to face a very likely death sentence. And now these seniors who are sitting at home, enjoying their retirement, and they're just going, oh no, you know what? We don't want these young people to face this life-threatening situation. We'll do it. You know, anyone who says humans are fucked, no, maybe you're fucked. But there are people out there who are just completely awesome. And I'm using these guys to round out the week in awesome, because it doesn't get much more awesome than them.